hey guys we are just going to do my makeup and no makeup look so we are just going to start off with the milani prime correct face primer that's in the tones light to medium so we are just going to apply that all evenly through our face making sure that we get every single little spot every single little pore in our face now we are just going to use the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous. I'm using it in the shade Light. This is just to cover up my bags and in my eyes. Even though I don't really have any, but you know, I just use it just in case. <laughs> now we are just going to blend that evenly on both sides of our face. Now we are just going to use the Maybelline New York Age Rewind Eraser for dark circles. But as you can see, I like to apply this all throughout my face. Why? Because concealer does a better job than foundations do just to cover up your pores more. And it really does make a difference because concealer is meant to hide imperfections, which is of the dark circles. So I just apply this all evenly throughout my face. And now we are just going to take our beauty blender and just blend that out through all our face. So I usually use the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless Foundation, but today I'm just going to use my NYC foundation that is in the shade Natural. Now we are just going to take our brush and just blend that off thoroughly. It is better to blend foundation with a brush because you are grabbing more of the pores inside so it covers up better when you use a brush instead of a blending sponge. But after you use the brush, you want to blend it out with a blending sponge just in case some spots you missed and that the brush did not get. So as you can see, I usually use the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless. I am in the shade Natural Beige, but I truly did run out and I truly did forget that I ran out. So we are just going to use the little bit that I have left just to cover up most of our face. So now that I used the rest of the Maybelline Fit Me Powder, I'm just going to take my Bettina Dual Foundation Powder in the shade Golden Beige and apply that evenly through all my face. Now I'm just going to take a thicker brush and just blend all that powder that I just applied on through my face just so my face does not look powdery. And the only thing that I do to my eyebrows is just simply brush them. I do not apply nothing to them nor draw them in. These are just my natural brows and I'm just brushing them out. I'm going to take my Naked Cosmetics Holographic Highlighter and I'm just going to be applying that to the tip of my lip, making sure to blend it out afterwards with my finger so it doesn't look too yellowy. Now just applying it to the tip of my nose, also taking my finger afterwards to blend it out just a little bit. And now I'm just going to apply it into the inner crease of my eye so I can look more awake. Now I'm just taking my Revolution Baked Highlighter Powder in the shade Peach Light. And I'm just going to be applying it to both sides of my face. Now I'm just going to be curling my eyelashes. As you can see, after I curl both of them, I like to just simply curl them again because they do look better and they look more longer and they look more fuller.
Now I'm just going to be taking my drugstore. This is a non-brand mascara. It's by Apple as you can see. But this is one of my favorite mascaras. It makes my eyelashes longer than any of the actual branded mascaras that I've used before. And after that mascara, I just like to take my CoverGirl Total Tease Waterproof Mascara. This mascara for me is sometimes hard to take off, so I just like to use it on my lower lashes. Today, I didn't really feel to put any lip gloss on my lips, so I'm just taking a bit of Vaseline just to smooth my lips out and keep them hydrated. Well, that is all for this makeup, no makeup look of mine. I hope you guys enjoyed it and thank you so much for watching. Bye!